with a storm our hand, on our hands and not an exaggeration at all to say buried in snow in parts of the mid-Atlantic. Yeah, I mean, this is incredible. We've already got two feet in some spots. Uh, an unofficial report of Allegheny County, Maryland, 27 inches. Wow. Mm. So, and now we also talk about more snow piling up as we continue to go on in time here. So this is a very dangerous situation, and no doubt for the Mid-Atlantic, it is already the biggest storm since the blizzard of 96 in Washington, D.C. So let's go ahead and take you there and show you what's going on. You can see the kind of snow that we've had around the nation's... Uh, pretty much so, Jim. In fact, here in a state of emergency now, you are not allowed to drive on Maryland highways unless you're a local or state emergency vehicle. If you're caught, you're subject to a $1,000 fine. That's every highway in Maryland, including I-95. Uh, this is up until at least 4 a.m. in the morning so they can get the plows out and get the roads cleared. Virginia's in pretty good shape, and here in the district, uh, things are... This looks very familiar. It's only 24 years ago. A couple of different dates. That was February 18th, 19th, 1979. Bitterly cold temperatures, only in the low teens in Washington. Two feet of snow. Does this sound familiar? President's Day number two. Uh, snowstorm will be continuing. If we take a look at the radar in the Washington area, uh, it's hard to make out sleep from snow, but basically the sleep line is running right in here. Heavy snow in Baltimore, heavy snow at Dulles, sleet at the airport. Um, this area is probably going to waffle back and far, forth all night long, but all this area where the dark greens, that's where we're going to see some incredible amounts of snowfall continuing overnight. Any of these areas which are mixing with sleet, that will keep down some of the higher accumulations, but it will just load down the snow, the snow and blowing snow already on the ground, reduce visibility. Getting around.